in part a of question number 11 we have supposed to provide an illustrative example that proves that electromagnetic waves they carry both energy and momentum answer yes we know that electromagnetic radiation of frequency nu is made up of photons each photon carries energy h nu and momentum h nu by c and we also know that when a beam of light is incident on a surface that is non-reflective in nature then the momentum delivered on the surface in time t is given by the expression p equals to capital u by c but over here we are supposed to give one illustrative example that proves that the electromagnetic radiation that carry energy as well as momentum for this i would like to suggest that such comet tail as the comet approaches the sun as comet approaches the sun then its tail made up of dust and lighter particles becomes directly away from the sun is because the large number of photons they strikes on these light particles and push them away and that is why the tail of the comet is directly away this clearly illustrates that electromagnetic waves or radiation that carry both energy and momentum i would like to show image from the net itself in this diagram which you could see on the extreme right as the comet approaches the sun its tail becomes directly away and this is because of the very reason that the incident photon on the tail particles they imparts both energy and momentum Now answer B. In this part of the problem, we are supposed to tell one common function by ozone layer, the glass window, and the special glass goggles used while welding metals. Ozone layer is all around Earth. It protects us against not only the energetic ultraviolet rays, but also against all other type of high frequency radiation and what about these glass window if you look at the ncrt carefully will notice the glass windows they can also be used to make face mask while while welding metals in fact not only the face mask made up of glass window but also the special glass goggles are used to protect our eyes during welding of metals in short ozone layer protects us against UV rays face masks made up of glass windows window glass as well as special glass goggles both of these protect against uv rays during welding in part c of the problem we are supposed to write an equation 
of a speed of electromagnetic wave through the material and that should be in terms of electric and magnetic properties of the medium. We know that the velocity of light as it travels through the medium is given by the expression V is equals to C by mu. Mu happens to be the refractive index. But for this particular problem, I prefer writing the refractive index by symbol N. Now next, the expression of refractive index in terms of electric and magnetic properties is given by the expression N equals to the square root of epsilon R and mu R. Epsilon R is a relative permittivity and mu R stand for the relative permeability. Thus the velocity of electromagnetic wave through the medium in terms of electric and magnetic properties should be given by the expression V is equals to C by square root of epsilon R mu R. This is the required expression. Further, we are also supposed to compare a speed of electromagnetic wave in material medium and vacuum. Answer to this question is very clear from this expression itself. V by C equals to 1 by square root of epsilon R mu R. So this is the expression that provides us the comparison between the velocity of light inside medium to the velocity of light inside vacuum.